The following video contains content captured from NCAA Football 14. The rosters, standings, and stats may not be accurate to the present day. All trademarks belong to their respective parties. Good evening and welcome to Vanderbilt Stadium here for another edition of South Carolina Football. Alongside me, Brian Princeway, is Stan Smith, Nick Jones, and John Dowdy here for a matchup in the SEC East between the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Vanderbilt Commodores. South Carolina will get the ball first as Vanderbilt kicks it away. And here we go here from Vanderbilt Stadium as South Carolina will get a knee to start the game. The Gamecocks haven't returned a kick in a thousand years. Thousand years? That's like that Vanessa Carlton song, If I Will Walk a Thousand Miles in a Thousand Years. And then Christina Perry will love you for a thousand years and a thousand more. Look at that. We're, we're really getting into our music mashup here. South Carolina and has the ball. In Nashville. Co Cocky Thompson throws one. That's outside for a beautiful game there of eight yards to Nick Jones. And Nick Jones with us here in the booth. Nick, how'd that one feel? Yeah, well, it felt pretty good. Went on the outside and uh, snagged it real quick. Interesting play call there, Stan, from Dylan Thompson against Mr. C and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Mr. C is short for communism, as all Commodores are. They are advocates of communism. And you know what? It's very interesting because South Carolina is wearing red, and you would think red is communist. But there goes Dylan Thompson again for another first down, and South Carolina is in business here into Vanderbilt territory here early in the first quarter. Now, Brian, this is we mentioned this last week. This is reminiscent of Connor Shaw. Dylan Thompson is rushing. He has 23 positive yards in this game. I don't think he broke 20 yards last game. Yes, in South Carolina, you got to think they have an advantage because of those yellow boots on the field. Got some good traction. There he goes down the sideline, 20-yard line for a first down. Into inside the 25-yard line, Jarrell Adams gets a reception for 22 yards. Nick, what did you see there? Well, it looks like Cocky had some uh, good speed right there and uh, distracted him with the shoes and got the first down. I think those shoes should be illegal. Yellow shoes against a team that wears predominantly yellow and black. Very, very misleading here in Vanderbilt. They like to say anchor down, right, Stan? Anchor down. Brian, back to those yellow shoes. Are you saying that Vanderbilt should not play Oregon? Vanderbilt should never, ever play Oregon. Ever. For ever. multiple reasons. South Carolina, here he comes. That's Thompson. Touchdown, Carolina! As South Carolina takes the early lead here on a very methodical drive, they go almost 80 yards in less than two minutes, and South Carolina has an early lead, 6 0, with Elliott Fry's kick coming up here to make it 7. Can he fry Mr. C? Yes, he can, and South Carolina has a 7 point lead here early against the Commodore. Have you ever seen the play in a basketball game, a Vanderbilt basketball game, where the actual Mr. C? punched and made a student bleed. Oh, Unbe really? Unbelievable that they let these guys play football. That is unbelievable. Guys, don't you think it's weird that a uh, grown man is playing a bunch of Gamecocks? No. No? Not at all. It's normal? No, I'm just guys. It's weird. Yeah. You got to be careful there if you're cocky. He's wearing a dress. You don't want to spread your legs open. He almost got a little bit of a little bit of a, a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction there. You got to be careful there. Just did did, did got to be careful there if you're cocky. Maybe close your legs. It's a striking resemblance for Vanderbilt and Wake Forest, actually, if you think about it. The Demon Deacons, are they actually Commodores? Are they Demon Deacons? It's very, very unbelievable to think that these two teams are not the, the same. The Demon Doors. The Demon Doors. That sounds like a Harry Potter That'd villain. Double Dumbledore, Brian. <laughs> Here comes a big bomb unloaded. It is picked off. Cocky intercepts it. He's going the other way. 30, 40. And hit at the 40-yard line, but another turnover there, this time for the Commodores. And Al Harris Jr. with the interception for the Gamecocks. Going back to the movie references, Commodores were the bad guys in Pirates of the Caribbean, and they're also the bad guys today. That, that's right, but there there is no um, Captain Jack Sparrow to save the Gamecocks That would be uh, Steve Spurrier. No. He is the equivalent of Captain Jack Sparrow. You think? I think so. I, I don't know. In, of Carolina football. You think? Okay, who are you going to say? Uh, I was going to say. AJ Can? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Tyler Hall on the punt for the Gamecocks. Tyler Hall is 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 the Captain Jack oh, Sparrow. Okay. I didn't even know Vanderbilt was in the SEC. That's unbelievable, right? Does that make me a bad fan? And it looks like the Commodores are actually wearing Ugg boots, which is very unbelievable. If you see those, they look like Ugg boots, and I don't think that's going to help them very much, Stan. It's going to get very hot. They're channeling their inner white girl, and I believe they will be going to Starbucks after the game to get the new pumpkin spice Ooh. lattes. That, I, no, that sounds delicious. I, I, might, I might join them. I'm going to come. I'm going to be there with you too, too, buddy. I mean, I'm really liking that. That's a big first down for, for C.J. Duncan, and he's going to go over the sidelines and get himself a pumpkin spice latte. First downs equal pumpkin spice lattes for the Vanderbilt Commons. I want to play for Vanderbilt. Let's do it. Yeah, we, we'd I, probably be starters. We would. We would. Does Ralph Webb look like Lee Corso to you? Slightly. Slightly. Um, I, I, I picture Lee Corso with a duck head, though, most of the time. He just always seems to have a duck head on. And a big third down here, John, for South Carolina. 
Uh, come back to me. Oh, uh, John, John is John is not ready to be talked to yet. So stand big third down here. It's third down. And go down. Very interesting to see how they can't even see out of their eyes because they're just literally not open. <clears throat> but interesting, interesting there. It looks like a run. Oh, this has to be a run play. And no, it's not. Oh, my gosh. They fooled me. He's going to roll to his right. He's got plenty of time. Look at all this time. What's he going to do? He's going to throw it, and it's caught. No, he dropped it. All that. All that. He couldn't get anything. S Steven Rivers could have wrote a new Harry Potter book back there with all the time that he had. He might yeah. have even just actually ran and wrote the book he probably could have he probably could have and i have to think stan that vanderbilt is hiding something something underneath those hats maybe it's a bald spot maybe it's a maybe it's a gun maybe it's something i don't know but it's something fishy about those hats here on third and four they here they gotta hide that bald spot i think they have liver spots on the top they and just, that's incomplete just really conscious incomplete pass and yeah look at these guys they're all pumped up they all have the same expression very very smug very very George Washington-esque. Here comes a pass play. That is complete. No, nice play that there. That would have been a TD. That would have been a sure touchdown. I would have bet $5 trillion on that one if he caught it for a touchdown. But uh, Do you have $5 trillion, Brian? I, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Maybe a Monopoly money. Okay. I'm a Monopoly millionaire. They're gonna, we're going to have to fill some time here, boys. So uh, how'd you, what would you guys have for dinner tonight? I haven't had dinner yet because our jerk driver didn't want to take us anywhere. Uh, uh, yeah, I wonder who that driver was. Very, It sounds like a very evil person. Nick, what would you have for dinner? I didn't have anything either because the driver wouldn't stop anywhere either. He would give himself a frappe but wouldn't buy me a cheeseburger. Oh, I really, they must really hate this guy. Um, he wears shirts that look like ice cream. And South Carolina only has 11 seconds left to make something happen here, John. Brian, what did you have for dinner? I've yet to eat because the driver wouldn't take me. Uh, not we gonna, all hate this driver, don't not, we? Not going to name any names, Brian, but I'm... He didn't take me. Well, uh, the Gamecocks' defense definitely needs to improve. I think they need to visualize the Commodores as chicken feed and go after it, you know, survival of the fittest. And, you know, the, the Commodores on defense, um, they kind of look like Rocky Balboa chasing around the chickens, you know, kind of getting trained for the match. You know what I mean? Another movie reference here. I think that's the fifth one. And, um, Stan, if, if, if you had a pick in a fight, these two mascots in a fight, a Gamecock and a Commodore, who would win? Uh, I think the beak would get in the way of uh, cocky of punching. So I think, uh, and I think Mr. C would be a little bit more elusive. Like he can get his legs up in the air and like do like uh, a jujitsu uh, ultimate punch. He does punch have kick. he does have some experience punching people he from does. that basketball That's game we true. saw back in I believe it's 2010. He play tackle made by Kyle Wostman, another interesting name that I've never heard of. Never, never. I I have a grandma named Wostman. Oh, that's her, her. That's her. her. That's her first name. Oh, tell her I said hello. Yeah, Wotsman Wotsman. That's her name. Oh, okay. Coming out of the shotgun here on third down from the three yard line. Thompson's gonna go read option. He's touchdown! in. Touchdown! Dylan Thompson, his second rushing touchdown of the game. Now, do you think Mr. C and Benjamin Franklin and George Washington? Do you think Mr. C was one of the founding fathers? Mr. C, his mutton chops are like too long. I don't think they would. Uh, the founding fathers would approve of the mutton chops. I feel on like Mr. those are C. those are 1800s mutton chops, not 17. They, those were not the big things in the 1700s. You're, you're, you're yeah, right. the, the yeah. fashion forwardness was not quite there yet in the 1700s. These mutton chops are more 1800s. It's gonna be a fake run, and a whoa, bad throw there. And wow, it looks like there's nobody. There's no bench players. Well. Actually, I saw a fan heckling Thompson, and Thompson just had enough of it. I think he it was the same fan that Mr. C punched at the basketball huh. game. Oh, he's ble oh, gosh, he's bleeding oh, again. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh. Paramedics are going over to him right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're, we're going to cut. All right, we're going to go back to the game here. And, Stan, I um, to your comment last week about us not having a special teams coordinator, we actually do. Did you know that? Indubitably. Didn't think so. Ooh, Ralph Webb is manhandled there by Kawan Lewis his first tackle of the game but it is a exclamation point of a tackle and South Carolina forces a second and 14 stand you just got owned by John by the way have to say that have to throw that in there but here comes second and 14 here for Vanderbilt I think Vanderbilt is trying to uh get the spirits of uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt on their side to help them win this game it's the ghost of Cornelius Vanderbilt he drops back. He looks right. He throws left. That is a first down. Let's not downplay down. the fact that that is the ghost of Cornelius Vanderbilt on the field right now. <laughs> yeah, the ghost of Cornelius Vanderbilt really starting to give South Carolina some troubles. They might be spooked a little bit. I definitely would. 
I'm gonna say that I would be spooked can they get the lead or can they tie the game here with a touchdown and a two-point conversion stay tuned folks here comes a drive here he's gonna drop back looking right throwing right he's got a man he's wide open touchdown Vanderbilt how did CJ Duncan get all open there John he's wide open the secondary just left him hanging he he burned his man on the outside easy pass for Duncan um, Rivers to make yeah CJ Duncan burnt the corner there I'm not exactly sure who was covering him <clears throat> But C.J. Duncan with 45 yards to the house. And let's see what Vanderbilt does here. Will they go for two? I think they should. And they are going to go for two here. And this is a big play here. They get the fans to quiet down. Three receivers left, one right. Will they try to focus here? Now they bring man in motion to the right. Two receivers each side. Running back right. He's going to throw it. He's going to look. He throws it. And it's, I don't know what happened there. But it's not completed. And they fail the two-point conversion and they'll kick the ball away to South Carolina down two. The center's pointing out uh, to the Vanderbilt defense. I think he's calling them names. Oh. I think he's calling them poop mouth. Is he really? Yeah, I think they're getting upset. <laughs> Look, They got time to kill. So he, he hikes the ball. He's looking left. He's throwing left. He's got a man. There he goes to the sidelines to the 21 or the 31 yard line. 21, 21 yard line. My math is off, ladies and gentlemen. I am not a math major, but I can count, I assure you. And South Carolina now is in business on the 21 yard line, John. Big play by Farrow Cooper. He, again, we saw this on Vanderbilt's last drive. Cooper got behind his man. Thompson had him wide open, 42 yard game. Elliot Fry will attempt the field goal here. Let's see if he can sink this one inside the 30 yard line. The kick is up. And it is good. And South Carolina now extends the lead to five. And Vanderbilt now has a chance to drive down the field and win the game with a touchdown. Let's see if Vanderbilt can do it. Let's see if we get our first return here. John, we are not going to get it. Just speculating uh, here, I, I've folks. I've been told by our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce, that he did not like the coach's decision of getting pumpkin spice lattes after the game. He said they're stupid. Big pick! Oh. There he goes! 20, 50, 10! from Rico McWilliams but South Carolina if any if everything holds here should escape that's a touchdown for Mike Davis and South Carolina extends the lead now to 23-12 hoping for an extra point here to extend it to 24-12 John you gotta like the character of this win for South Carolina it's a great bounce back from well our wrong prediction last week look at that a three second drive that's impressive isn't it brian right and you know what now that south carolina has won this game here you gotta think they're gonna lose on saturday because that, that's that's how we do things here so might might want to expect a south carolina loss here next this coming week if south carolina loses to vanderbilt in real life i can imagine nick would be very very upset i'd probably transfer in all honesty i, I would never come to see a football game ever again stan what are you talking about this is real life what <sighs> what where am I? And it looks like the Gamecocks will begin to kill this clock. And Vanderbilt will suffer a, yet another loss. And these Commodores are the commies and they never win, folks. You, you cannot escape the United States. You cannot escape the Red Scare. If, if McCarthy was here, he would be all over these Commodores. Just like the Red Scare back in the 1960s. As Reagan would say... Tear down this wall. And South Carolina has tore down this wall as this will be the final play of the game. It's a run. It's a first down. All they have to do is set the ball up. The Commodore is extremely upset. And South Carolina has defeated Vanderbilt by a score of 24-12 to 12 here at Vanderbilt Stadium. The f and that is another win for South Carolina. Dylan Thompson with not the best numbers, but he is the player of the game here. As the, as the Commodores now will walk off in shame as we have here our highlights from the game. And, and Nick, what do you think happened here for South Carolina going into this game? Well, I think the defense was very clutch uh, locking down Scott. I think uh, the quarterback was talking trash over there saying he was mediocre like Crabtree was. But uh, really? the uh, offense really? definitely did well with Dylan Thompson rushing the ball. Every time he did a read option and kept it, it was positive yardage. Yeah, and every time that, that these Commodores get tackled, looks like they're in absolute agony if you watch these plays. And uh, I don't know if we're going to get a tackle. It's probably a touchdown. But if we get a tackle here, I just want you folks to just watch the agony on these on these Commodores' faces. Where we might not even get to see another one, but I'm just going to throw that out there, Stan. Big win for South Carolina. Vanderbilt cannot channel the spirit of Cornelius Vanderbilt. He's 
very upset. And none of the players get their pumpkin spice lattes. That's that's another big bummer. But Caleb Scott's not that upset about it. But me and but me and Stan are off to get some pumpkin spice lattes here from Vanderbilt Stadium. I'm Brian Prince Bay. Alongside me is John Dowdy, Nick Jones, and Stan Smith. Thank you guys for joining us here tonight. Final score: South Carolina 24, Vanderbilt 12. Here from Vanderbilt Stadium. Good night, everybody.